Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DFU tutorial. Today I'll be walking through the RS scores in DFU, the AS scores, and also the EPS score, and explaining at a high level how we calculate them and how you can best make use of these data points to find top ideas faster. So starting with the EPS score here in DFU, you can see I've got it added to my column set. Um, this score basically takes into account the current company's track record, as well as the expectation of future growth in terms of earnings. And this uses a methodology based on the current market structure and how investment banks and other institutions view potential um, investments in companies and what they look for specifically. So it's a very useful score to get a sense of the quality and expected growth in a particular stock. And in order to add it to your column set, all you have to do is go ahead and click that gear icon and you can either search for EPS score up here or find it within the technical folder. Let's X that out here and simply give it a check and then you can organize it however you wish within your column set, but definitely a very useful data point. Now getting into the more kind of momentum based technical uh, scores here, let's go ahead and start with the RS score. Now the RS score is based on a weighted calculation of performance on different timeframes. So the 12 month is gonna incorporate um, data from the past 12 months, uh, weight different time periods and make sure basically that you know recent price performance is not ignored, uh, but we also take into account that longer term time frame into that calculation. So this is most useful for position traders or longer term investors. Then as we narrow down the time frame to six month, three month and one month, uh, these focus on much more recent price action. Obviously the RS score on a six month basis focuses more on six months, R score three month, one month, focus on those particular time frames. And these are gonna react faster and change a lot more quickly. And basically you'll find higher momentum stocks using these lower time frame ones I like to use the three month version that kind of fits for my time frame, but I also like to take a look at the one month variation to get a sense of really strong recent momentum. And along with all the different scores in DFU, including the EPS score, which we covered, uh, basically we rank every stock in our database from one to 100. You can see TGTX here is ranked 100 on an RS score 12 month basis. And basically that means it's the top tier in terms of that specific metric. But here you can see with the EPS score of SMCI, uh, that's only um, on a scale of one to 100, a 94 in terms of EPS score in terms of this metric. So it's better than 93% of stocks, but there are some that are higher rated based on that methodology. And you can see taking a look at these RS scores of these stocks that many of them are ranked very highly, but let's go ahead and clear this sort and sort by the RS score one month and let's go ahead and go from lowest to highest. And you can see that ALTR here uh, has recently not been performing too well. And that's why this overall score on a three month as well as one month basis is a lot lower than its overall scores on a longer time frame. So that's kind of the usefulness of these RS scores. I incorporate these a lot into my screening and they're really good for sorting out price momentum. Now the AS scores are pretty similar to the RS scores, but the big difference between these metrics right here on both a 12 month, six month, three month and one month basis is that there is no weighting involved in the calculation whatsoever. It's all based on absolute price performance. So uh, depending on the situation, you might wanna use the absolute scores or the R scores, basically decide what works best for you and what you're trying to achieve uh, with either your analysis or your screen. Uh, so that's a quick run through of all these different metrics. And once again, they're ranked on a score from one to 100 with 100 being the top percentile and one being the lowest percentile. Uh, so the last thing I wanna cover in this tutorial is how to incorporate them into a screen. So let's go ahead and open this screen up right here. And in order to find these scores, all you would have to do is search them right here. And let's go ahead and search EPS score. Go ahead and give that a click. And you can see it opens it up right down here. Let's go ahead and scroll down uh, and you can use this EPS score however you would like to. Uh, look for stocks with a greater than a specific number, less than a number, a range as well. That's a possibility. And go ahead and add that to your different screens. Going down here, you can see this is where you add either the RS scores or the AS scores. Let's click this drop down menu. You can select in between them 
and you can also select the time frame. So once again, remember that a 12 month basis is gonna incorporate a lot more data than looking at an AS score or RS score um, on a one month or three month basis, which focuses much more on a recent price action. Uh, so that's pretty much it when it comes to the EPS score, RS score, as well as the AS score. Uh, let us know if you have any questions down below. Thanks so much for watching and take care.